Hugh Grant's former South Kensington home sells for just over £7 million. However, the property has been given a considerable price cut since 2019. Offering three double bedrooms, the £7.25 million property is laced with luxurious decor that is strikingly prominent throughout. This price point marks a substantial drop since the film star's one-time home was listed for £10 million in 2019. On that occasion, it was taken off the market and rented out before being put up for sale again two years later for just under £9 million. Hard to come by with London flats. The Love Actually and Bridget Jones Diary star's former Chelsea penthouse comes with an indoor floor plan of 3,000 square feet, paired with an additional 1,600 square feet of outdoor space. Estate agents Berkshire Hathaway Home Services describes the property as including 3,000 square feet of internal space and more than half this amount of outside space on top. With direct lift access, the penthouse is split between three bedroom suites and a large semi-open plan reception room. Dining room and kitchen. The open plan living room helps to make the already generously sized home feel even larger making the most of the living area. This area then leads onto a west-facing terrace with stunning views towards Chelsea. What's more, the master bedroom suite indulges in south-facing views towards the river and Battersea power station. Much of the seventh-floor apartment has air conditioning and vaulted ceilings. The rest of the South Kensington penthouse features lots of luxury mirrored furniture and a more neutral color palette throughout the home. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services London sales manager Charles Feinlater said, This exceptional property has so much to offer, from its star-studded history to the expansive lateral spaces and vast outside space. The penthouse is ideal for a family or for someone who loves to entertain. With its own lift, the apartment offers privacy, which is one of the many reasons it appealed to actor Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant is said to have moved into the Kensington penthouse shortly after filming Love Actually in 2002. South Kensington is a fantastic place to live as it is a cultural hub of London. The area benefits from delightful cafes and restaurants to high-end dining, and has plenty of open green spaces to explore. The film star sold the house for £3.5 million almost two decades ago. In 2019, he bought a Chelsea townhouse for £17.5 million. The actor's property portfolio has reportedly included a villa in wife Anna Eberstein's native Sweden and a £10 million home in Notting Hill, the area immortalized in the eponymous 1999 romantic comedy he starred in.